Hey guys, it's uh, 9.38 in the morning uh, here in Kentucky, um, and I decided to do a uh, aid bag uh, review uh, of my aid bag. Here it is. Uh, this is the um, <clears throat> uh, London Bridge Trading Company uh, aid bag. I, I forgot the uh, exact um, serial number, but uh, it'll it'll be it'll be in here on the bottom portion of the bag. So uh, I'll show you guys that when we get down to the bottom portion. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go over my aid bag, and this is what I have in it. Because um, Michael and I are both uh, medics on our uh, JR JROTC uh, Raider team, um, along with me uh, for cross country. So um, this is why I had this kit. And just because uh, this also goes in my car when we're you know going on long trips or maybe just trip around the town. Um, in case anybody needs medical assistance. So, and also, by no means am I a professional, but I do have medical training. But uh, I am not a professional at this, so uh, don't take my final word for anything. But if this gives you any good ideas, uh, feel free to throw it in your kit. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this is my this is my aid bag. Uh, on the front, I've got well my ROTC rank right here. Is a staff sergeant got a uh, an IR American flag, and then I've got my blood type here. Also, uh, I've got some information right here. Um, I have my name, uh, the day this was assembled, which was uh, 10, 11, 13, which was yesterday, because I got this bag yesterday. Um, but all this medical stuff in here, uh, uh, minus a few things, has already been in my level two kit. Um, and then it's got my blood type and then my signature. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started. So, um, you guys will see that throughout the bag, I've got the zippers uh, towards the top here, so it's it's easier for me to access. And the good thing, the, the one thing I like about this bag, is uh, it you know flips open, so you can see everything. So I'm going to start up here on this top section. Uh, here is some Vaseline in a in a little squeezy bottle. Right here, I taped the uh, the the top so nothing squeezes out and ruins every, anything in this bag. Here is some first aid antiseptic spray, some sunscreen, uh, some alcohol uh, for wound irrigation and whatnot, cleaning wounds. Here's some alcohol uh, wipes, um, and here's some foot powder for like uh, wet feet, trench foot stuff like that. Uh, right under the foot powder is uh, this wound seal. It's basically like your your powdered quick clot or whatever. Uh, it's just a powder, and you pour it in there, and it clots up the uh, it clots up the um, the uh, wound. So uh, that's why I have that right there, quick access. Um, right here, right next to, right now under the, uh, the alcohol wipes. I've got a um, <clears throat> a sterile combined pad, a gauze pad. Uh, this is eight by ten, so it's a larger uh, gauze pad for uh, larger wounds. And then I have that storn. Sorry for all the shaking and whatnot, but um, have it storn right here underneath the alcohol pads, just because I know where it is and uh, I can get to it quick. Excuse me, let me put this back on there. Uh, right here, underneath the, uh, the alcohol and the um, uh, sunscreen is uh, a bunch of these, you know, gauze sponges and non-stick pads. Those are my extras, uh, but they're there if I need them. Those are all my extras, and then all my primaries are on the other side, which I'll show you in a minute. Right here is some first aid tape. Uh, it's on a zipper conveniently, so I can grab it, and so I can easily access the zipper because the zipper is underneath all of this stuff, and I can't really get to the pull tab that easy. But um, underneath that, just in that little pocket there, I've got three uh, glow sticks. Two are yellow, and one's green. You know, for signaling and whatnot, and marking a casualty. That's just saying if I do any, if I help anybody at night. So. <clears throat> Over here, I've got a um, a uh, uh, a nasal um, airway right here with some uh, lubricant on the other side. It's uh, all in the package, and it's 
uh, stapled onto the package. The uh, lubricant is. <clears throat> here I've got three uh, non-latex gloves right here, non-latex. Um, here I've got some tongue depressors, uh, <clears throat> which could be improvised into finger splints. Here I've got some extra shears, uh, which I do have uh, shears on right here on the uh, side of the bag here. These came with the bag, and then I've got these extra ones, which I've had. Uh, and then one more thing before I go any further, I forgot to show you guys on the on the outside of the bag. Uh, let me give you guys some light here. Sorry if you can't see it, but you'll see it in a minute. Uh, I got this in the bag as well. It's a uh, Benchmade Rescue Cutter, and I do have a smaller one. You guys have seen it before. Um, I EEC it sometimes, uh, but this is the, a larger one and uh, a newer version of the Rescue Cutter that I have. And uh, it conveniently rides on the side here. I'm not sure if you can see that. Conveniently rides on the side there. And at the end of the video, I'll show you uh, how it looks on the uh, on the bag. So uh, next here, I've got a flashlight with um, a uh, with pupil with a pupil gauge. Um, here, uh, I've got some uh, crappy tweezers. Just they're they're there, so I put them in there just in case. Um, here. Or um, some <clears throat> some uh, forceps. I forgot the name of them. Here's some uh, other medical shears. Here's some uh, more medical shears. And then here's a uh, really nice tweezer. Uh, needle nose. Really really nice. Way better than this than these crappy blue ones. But um, sorry for the shaky camera and sorry that's a little bit dark. Uh, right here, I've got an an Israeli bandage. Uh, it's, it's a great uh, little piece of uh, gauze because I mean it's just like an ace wrap but you wrap it around the wound and it's got uh, gauze on there so it uh, uh, stops bleeding uh, you can also it's all, a compression bandage so you can uh, wrap it tighter to uh, you know um, pr provide push pressure now here uh, here is a uh, North American rescue uh, uh, S rolled gauze, you know, field bandage, and then here is an H and H compressed gauze. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, these are great. These are great little items too uh, to have in your kit. Yeah, at surplus stores you can get these for two or three bucks. Uh, they're depending on the surplus store. Uh, I got mine for uh, two dollars at the surplus store that I get that I got this bag from, and uh, this bag was. Uh, it's uh, originally two. Uh, it's originally five hundred dollars um, on the London Bridge website, but I got this bag for a great deal of a hundred and fifty. So that just proves what, what what great things you can find at a surplus store. So, all right. Next uh, here, are, excuse me. Here's some Telfa nonstick pads along with um, some uh, you know large band aids. They 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 were just in there, so I just left them in there. Uh, here is a hyphen chest seal. Now these are things you really want to have in your kit, uh, just in case of sucking chest wounds. Um, and I know from all the medic uh, medics I've talked to and all the videos I've watched of medics, they've they've always had um, you know chest seals in there, whether it be hyphen or some other brand. They've always had those in there. They've also had these uh, nasal uh, airways. Um, but yeah, moving on, uh, some gauze sponges, some Johnson & Johnson gauze sponges, got from Walgreens, uh, I forgot how much I got, but, how, like, how much the, how much it was, but, I think I got, like, 24, uh, packages of gauze. Uh, here are some non-stick pads, uh, which I always have with the, um, with the gauze sponges, because I put these on first, and then I apply the gauze sponge on top of it. Just so whenever I change the uh, the bandage, uh, it doesn't stick to the to the blood, uh, the coagulated blood. So uh, let me stuff those back in there real quick. Sorry, it's a pain getting these back in there sometimes. Right here, right next to those, I've got a bunch of extra gauze sponges. These are Kendall sponges. Those are just there in case I need them. Uh, whichever is quicker to grab, whether it be grabbing it, grabbing it out of the Ziploc baggie or grabbing it here. So, 
So, uh, yeah, all right, that's the first top section here. Now I'm going to go ahead and move to the bottom section. Um, here I've got a few things that I actually got out of a bus first aid kit, but my friend um, gave them to me, and also along with a uh, emergency blanket. This I got from um, Walgreens as well. I think Walgreens or uh, Walmart or something. Uh, but here is some gauze, uh, compressed gauze. It's uh, 18 by 36 inches. Uh, here is some i uh, an iPad with a uh, with tape. Here are some. Uh, this is a CPR protector and uh, gloves. So, got a way of uh, protecting against you know bacteria while I'm giving CPR. And uh, here's some compressed gauze again, 18 by 36. And those all ride in this little pocket here. Uh, and these are conveniently, the zippers are conveniently on the same, like they're facing each other. So as I'm doing that, as I'm zipping that up, I can just reach down and grab the other one. And in here, this is where I keep all my maxi pads and uh, tampons. Uh, I have the tampons because of gunshot wounds and because you never know when you get to save the day. Also, um, the maxi pads are in there because they are great blood stoppers because that's what they're used for. So, uh, and you can never have too many maxi pads. So that's why I have those in there. This is a great bag. Uh, I'd recommend this if you have the money. Um, I I uh, found it at a surplus store, really cheap. Uh, that's just with my luck. And I'm not saying that you that uh, you won't find the same bag or an even better bag uh, at a surplus store, but it's not likely because I, I I don't I can't believe I found it. So, all right, moving to the bottom zipper here. Now this might have to be two parts. I'm probably going to stop it at 15 minutes if I go past 15 minutes. So, alrighty. Uh, we'll go over the bottom part here. Um, so right here, I've got a uh, notebook. And I will, I'm, I'm putting a pen in there, uh, but I have a Sharpie up top in my um, top here. This is my, uh, my minor wound care. Um, and here is all my uh, miscellaneous, uh, which is basically uh, cold compresses um, and extra, uh, some extra stuff like a – let me open it real quick. Sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, I've got a uh, two cold compresses. I've got a uh, emergency poncho. Uh, I've got some – got a uh, N95 mask. Got uh, some extra non-stick pads, and I've got a Benchmade rescue cutter, and I've got my pocket survival kit in there. Uh, it was already in this little red thingy uh, because this used to be my travel kit. My travel kit, uh, as you guys, if you guys have seen on my other channel, this is my uh, travel kit. Uh, but since I got this bag, I actually use it for first aid uh, because it's just a, it's a great kit, and it also adds contour to the bag. So. And that rides in this little stuff pouch right here, which is, this is actually supposed to come with uh, two uh, pull bags, a red and a blue tab pull bag. But since it didn't come with it, I just, you know, improvised and used my own stuff. So in this little zipper here, right above the red um, container is where I keep, um, here's my suturing, my, my wound closures, my wound closures and suturing. I've got uh, some butterfly band-aids band in there. I've got some duct tape, some medical tape, some sutures, and some alcohol swabs to clean to clean the area for a suture and whatnot. Uh, here is my eye care. I've got some pink eye relief, some uh, some Vaseline uh, for eyes, some eye pads, some gauze pads, which can be improvised as a uh, gauze pads. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and continue this in uh, part two. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Stay safe. See you guys.